In this demonstration, we will see how we can model a custom engine mount using Simscape language. We have a model of a vehicle powertrain. Instead of assuming that the engine is rigidly mounted to the frame of the vehicle, we would like to include a spring damper which has a nonlinear stiffness. To create this component, we will use Simscape language. For our engine mount, we have a custom equation. We will implement that equation in Simscape language. The Simscape language is MATLAB based, it's object oriented to improve reuse, and you can use it to define implicit equations, which include DAEs and ODEs. I will now switch over to the model so you can see what this looks like. Here is our model of a vehicle powertrain. We have an engine, torque converter, four-speed transmission with clutches and planetary gears, vehicle dynamics including tire models and a differential, and a transmission controller implemented in state flow. We would like to include the effects of an engine mount into our simulation. I will run the simulation and then we will review the simulation results. Here we can see how the vehicle performed and if I right click on the engine mount we can review the simulation results. Here in the Simscape Results Explorer we have selected the custom engine mount. We can see the amount of torque that the engine mount experienced, its amount of deflection, and the speed of deflection. If we go back to the block itself, we can take a look at the source code. This block was implemented using Simscape language, which is based on MATLAB. Here we can see our custom equation and the parameters that we let the user change when they want to modify how it behaves. In order to go through this code in more detail, I will switch back to PowerPoint. Here is the Simscape language code that defines our custom component. Our custom engine mount needs to have two mechanical connections. Those are defined here. We reuse the domain definition from Simscape so that our block is completely compatible with all the libraries that are provided. The next thing we need to define is the user interface. These are the parameters that we wish to allow users to adjust. This is specified here. We specify the default value, the default units, and the prompt that the user sees. We simply define the code and the user interface is created automatically. In the next section we leverage MATLAB. Here we use MATLAB code to verify that a parameter value is legitimate. In this section you can use MATLAB functions and expressions to do typical tasks such as analyzing parameters and performing preliminary computations. In the next section we define how the component behaves. Here are the equations that define how we expect our custom engine mount to behave. Those equations are defined here. We can define equations based on variables, their time derivatives, parameters, and other quantities. A key difference between this code and MATLAB code that you may be used to is that here we are defining simultaneous equations. These are implicit equations. They are part of the entire network where the equations will all be solved simultaneously. We can define DAEs and ODEs and important to note is that assignment is not required. It isn't as if we know what omega is and we are calculating t. All of these equations will be solved at the same time. We are not specifying inputs and outputs. It's a full implicit set of equations. In this demonstration we have seen how we can define a custom component 